Ten wrestling fans and welcome to Wrestle Dope, the wrestling radio podcast live on justin.tv slash wrestle dope every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific and 8 GMT BST. Around about an hour late right now. But then uh, what can we say? We're going to start as we always do and that's... Uh talk about wrestling and that's what we do for the entire podcast each and every week let's begin with ring of honor and it began with tyler black cutting a promo saying he looks forward to facing roderick strong one-on-one and in tonight's program davy richards and uh eddie edwards they had the decider on who wins that world television title after many weeks of tournament action and finally uh, there was a decision made on HDNet last Monday we're going to talk about that in just a bit yeah it was time for the big man to stand up and uh, certainly it was proved that uh, one of the greatest competitors on the circuit at the moment uh, really drove it home and uh, once again stepping ring of honour up into that high level of quality wrestling that is uh, also um, not so much present in other organizations. Yeah, i got to say I'm all about Ring of Honor this week, and I have to tell you exactly why. Why have I started suddenly thinking more about Ring of Honor? And I have to tell you, it was from watching that Big Bang pay-per-view uh, live here in Ireland. Never, ever had the opportunity to check out ROH uh, live and direct. And indeed, from Charlotte, North Carolina, the event was... Very satisfying, great card, lots of fantastic matches. And what stood out the most to me? It was that uh, triple threat, the main event, Tyler Black versus Roderick Strong and Austin Aries. I mean, those guys tore it up, and I'm still thinking about that main event weeks after it happened. Yeah, it just goes to show, I mean, that quality wrestling can cut through on an even plane and cut the bullshit aside with the sports entertainment. <coughs> And when you see these three guys at it, it just goes to show that there's quality wrestling left in the world and uh, plenty of examples of it over Ring of Honor and a small little bit in NXT with Brian Danielson. Absolutely. This was a fantastic uh, main event. And indeed, in uh, Charlotte, the fans got such a treat with that show. And like I say, I'm thinking a lot about Ring of Honor lately and I'm making sure that I catch that HD net show. And this week it opened with Rhett Titus versus that guy, Tyler Black, who I must say I'm getting ever the more uh, interested in. I think he's a fantastic worker. I've just got to wonder where he has been. I mean, I don't know his history. Uh, I've got to go and check that out on Wiki, I think. But without a shadow of a doubt, that guy needs a WWE tryout. But then you don't want to go the Braden Walker route. You don't want to get buried. Yeah, and uh, a good example of uh, Scotty Goldsman, Cabana, um, who went 360 and that shit and you know where he's at he's back in ring of honor with the gimmick uh that really isn't that funny it's just not funny i don't think he's a funny guy so uh that comedian gimmick i think uh, he probably needs to get rid of that shit because it's just not really over like you know um but insane at the same time uh no better man than austin aries tyler black and roderick strong and roderick strong is my He's my uh, my kind of like golden ticket to this is what wrestling's all about. <clears throat> this is the future yeah. of the heavyweight championship of Ring of Honor. Yeah, without a doubt, Ring of Honor has stepped it up lately. The production is high quality, and they're doing everything they can on probably a very low budget. You can't compare these guys' show to the WWE show. I mean, the money is a completely different scenario. But like I say, Rhett Titus took on Tyler Black. Now, Rhett Titus, uh, another guy who impressed at the Big Bang pay-per-view, and indeed he's got that almost sort of a Shawn Michaels 92 gimmick uh, when he was with Sensei. Sensational Sherry, uh, and I think he is uh, really a great uh, performer. Now, will WWE sign Tyler Black eventually? I would hope so. I think it could be uh, possibly something we might see. Yeah, um, he definitely has the qualities of the WWE superstar of the WWE universe, a la David Otunga. But uh, insane, I don't know, I could see him as mid-card uh, 
possibly in the Ziggler bracket, but you just don't know with these guys. I mean, you just really just don't know, you know? I certainly thought the stuff these guys were doing this week was amazing. The series of opening moves with all sorts of reversals was fantastic series. Just, just that bit alone. And it's so easy to tell that you're not watching a WWE booked match. I mean, they're doing things that you just don't see anymore. Uh, sort of combinations and, you know, fluid maneuvers. You just have to respect the way Ring of Honor is being booked right now. The athleticism, the demonstrations of strength and that incredible execution of the moves from those guys each and every week without fail impresses me and indeed they don't need to do all this uh, sort of uh, you know announcers table rubbish where they have to use the same old tired gimmicks over and over again I mean you don't have uh, sledgehammers hidden under the ring pipes none of that stuff it's just uh, I think as old school as probably as you're gonna get in this day and age uh, 2010 yeah and it needs to happen because there's just so much fucking bullshit going on with the rest of them and it's so safe you know and I think uh, one thing that would always draw you to the product is good wrestling because at the end of the day whether you like sports entertainment or you like storylines or promos or heels or faces gimmicks or works you name it at the end of the day you're watching a wrestling match one on one two guys taking it from A to B in the time go home one two three and that's their quality but people forget about that shit that's the, that's the important side of what wrestling is all about I suppose and uh, you get caught up in the ratings, you get caught up in gimmicks that work and gimmicks that don't work. And who's a good uh, work and who's not such a good work. Who's a good heel, who's a good baby face. I think Brian Danielson has got some really good fucking moves, I have to say. I mean, you know, when, you, when you're going to watch a Matt Hardy match and you're going to watch, you know... Shelton giving it all and you hope for him for the best really at the end of the day you watch a Brian Danielson match and uh, bring it back to Ring of Honor I think uh, a great product Tyler pinned Rhett one two three after interference from Kenny King and Austin Aries indeed Roderick Strong got in the mix as well and told Tyler Black he would keep him safe of course Roderick Strong wants his opportunity at that Ring of Honor world title and he's going to get that May 8th in New York City when Roderick Strong and indeed Tyler Black go at it one on one and indeed such a long running storyline now but this is a show where I can watch a long running storyline and not get bored. I can see those Tyler Black, Aries, Roderick Strong promos over and over again. I mean, they have shown them quite a few times now, and I just don't get bored. They always insert something new, uh, another sound bite that hasn't been heard yet, and keeps you interested, I think. And those guys could keep doing this for a year. And I'd probably still watch. Why is that the case? WWE, they can't manage that. I fall asleep by the time it's uh, Batista v. Cena. Yeah, it's just uh, too much too soon. And too much too soon consistently equals a complete fucking mess. Uh, so basically, uh, Ring of Honor can handle the mess. And they know not to make a mess. And I think that's why uh, ROH is uh, definitely one to watch. Now, Skull Crusher Rashi Brown took on James Stone, who had a cigarette as his gimmick. And that, of course, was on his ear, which was interesting. And indeed, that's uh, probably something you're not going to see on PG WWE either. They don't want to champion that smoking gimmick at all. Uh, not for the kiddies, I think. But uh, this uh, was an interesting match. Uh, Rashi Brown here. He really kind of uh, squashes guys. He never fails to crush a guy, and the name says it all. Now, maybe Ro Roderick Strong, perhaps when he's finished uh, with his title shot, maybe Skull Crusher Rashi Brown could make it into the title picture, or perhaps you could see him taking on whoever wins that match, Tyler Black versus Roderick Strong.